When I saw the first coronary image, I only had to see it once to change my career. And I knew at that moment that I didn't need to be in the cath lab to get diagnostic imaging. This ability to image the coronary arteries and the heart, the muscle and the valves by using Snapshot Freeze 2 really is a game changer for cardiology. One of the principal challenges to do tomography cardiac is that the heart is one of the few structures of the body that maintain movement. And that represents a challenge to obtain a good image. The challenge is to synchronize the heart with the rotation of this equipment. And even the most expensive equipment in the world has limitations on how fast you can spin that mass. Hello. Muchos pacientes tienen una frecuencia cardíaca elevada y a pesar de que les damos medicamento, la frecuencia cardíaca se mantiene elevada y eso puede ocasionar artefactos o imprecisiones al obtener las imágenes. I think it looks quite tight, so I think that going to the cat lab and... Okay, so what Snapshot Freeze 2 does is reduce motion, reduce the blurring, and improves the diagnostic accuracy and the capability of the equipment. Las imágenes del, del corazón. Con este procesamiento, Snapshot Freeze 2, bueno, podemos incrementar la resolución temporal y con eso la calidad de las imágenes. A snapshot Freeze helps reduce that motion artifact and often actually eliminates it. This is before Snapshot Freeze. Look at that. With Snapshot Freeze, we're now able to reduce the blurring, reduce the motion, and now we can analyze the artery in great detail. I mean, that is really amazing. El uso de esta, esta nueva tecnología nos está ayudando a hacer mejor diagnóstico. Y en esta era en la cual queremos uh, tratar a pacientes de la forma más precisa y personalizada, la llegada de esta tecnología nos está ayudando a cumplir ese objetivo. I am humbled by what we have done. It's really been remarkable.